Okay, pallets, um, this is gonna be another F14 uh, setup video, and this is a basic setup, right? So uh, these are just the very basics of getting the F14 set up. It's not uh, obvious from the manual or when you read, uh, you know, the, um, like in my case, Spectrum, some of their um, uh, material on the transmitter and receiver, how to set this up. So um, I had done an, a previous video on the F14 and in that video, basically the setup was like a traditional aircraft where the elevators back here only act as elevators. They don't act as elevons, which is what um, the uh, free wing, uh, uh, the default is for the free wing uh, when it comes out of the box. Okay, so basically in that one, you'd have had regular elevators, you had regular ailerons, uh, rudders, flaps. Uh, it was just a standard configuration for for an aircraft right um the only thing that was special in there is i think that uh it did have uh in addition to the wing, wing sweep it did have the ability that when you swept the wings it would automatically uh, bring the flaps up uh uh immediately before the wings started sweeping and that's pretty important because obviously if the flaps are down and you sweep the wings back then it probably won't be too good for your to your flaps in fact you might get something like this okay but anyways so today what we're going to do is the the configuration uh for the controls uh as as it comes from free wing okay so basically they've got this um integrated control module here um and you plug in all of your wires into it uh your primary control surfaces and then they do some some kind of fancy mixing here and then uh that drives back to your re your receiver and ultimately what ends up happening is your elevators here become ailerons so they will um do the pitch and they will also do the roll so um let me just turn this on and kind of show you what that looks like uh to see what what we're what we're gonna end up with here and then we'll go through um what the setup is hold on one second if i can get the okay we got the battery plugged in here okay and in my uh transmitter here uh basically the elevator i'm going to do just standard elevator here okay you can see the elevator going up and down now if you watch the um the aileron all right you can see the aileron is moving those uh, elevators, right, in opposite directions. Um, but what you do see here is that, um, and we'll walk through this, the only thing that's different from the, what the factory wants you to do is I disable the um, ailerons when the wings are swept, okay? So you see that I'm doing the ailerons and there's nothing happening with the, uh, I, I, I'm moving the aileron control. There's nothing happening with the ailerons themselves. Okay, so let me swing the swing the wings out. And now when we do the same thing, you can see that now the ailerons are really moving with the, with the elevators themselves. Okay, so that's the configuration they want you to do. You also have uh, flaps here okay and then you also have rudder as well okay so that's the configuration we're going to go for is that um, we're going to have the ailerons uh, and then the uh, ailerons themselves will work when the wings are out uh, the flaps will work okay um, but when the wings are swept the um, ailerons will not work. Um, I still need to figure out how to ensure that the flaps are up before we sweep the wings, but that's the function we're looking for here. Okay. So let's take a look at how this, how you set this up. Um, one thing I did learn is that, uh, you know, I was playing with the, um, the ICM board here and I didn't, you know, I didn't think I needed to put the, um, the, aileron cable into this uh, board, right? So let me show you what happens when you don't put that in there. Okay, and let me turn this off and back on. 
and look what happens if you don't have that uh, aileron cable plugged into the ICM board. So this elevator goes straight down and this one comes straight up, okay? So for the aileron function to work here, or actually for these uh, uh, elevators to, to function properly, when the elevators are plugged into this ICM board, you have to have both of these plugged in, the uh, elevator and the um, aileron connected up into the receiver, okay? If you don't, uh, I've only played with just having the aileron out. Um, I'm guessing the same thing would happen if you don't plug the um, elevator one in. But if you don't have both those plugged in, then you end up with something like this and your controls do nothing, right? I'm going up, up and down with the pitch and the roll and you can hear the uh, ailerons themselves moving, but the elevators are just nothing, okay? So you really need to have that plugged in, okay? So I just, uh, I just plugged that cable back in here, okay? And let's go through the receiver. Um, the receiver is pretty straightforward, um, basically, and it's kind of hard to tell here, but in channel one down here, I've got the throttle on number two. I've got um, the aileron. So the aileron is only going here, okay? It's only going there. Um, on three is the elevator, which is uh, going from the receiver to here, okay? Um, four is the rudder, five is the gear, six is flaps, all of that's pretty straightforward. For number seven uh, on the receiver here, um, I fly every one of my jets with AS3X and uh, SAFE, okay? Um, uh, 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 Spectrum receiver that has that. So my channel seven is always um, controls the AS3X and SAFE so that I have a switch that I can turn that on and off, okay? So that's seven. On eight is the wing sweep coming here, uh, going from the receiver into the um, ICM. And then number nine is, the, is another aileron. So let me show you what I did there. So here you can see I've got a Y here for the two, hopefully you can see, there's two aileron cables uh, that are out to the wings. And I wired them together and I put them in here, okay? So <clears throat> what does this do? When I do this, even though I've got this other aileron cable here, okay, um, this allows me to control uh, the ailerons themselves um, through mixing, okay? And we'll see um, uh, how we mix that. But basically, this allows me to disable those um, ailerons when the wings sweep. And we'll, we'll take a look at that in the mix. Okay, so next, let's go to um, the channel setup and, and walk through, uh, actually, the transmitter setup, and, and, and including the channel setup, and we'll walk through um, all the, um, the settings here uh, to get this to, um, uh, to function like this. Okay. So come back here. All right. So, uh, after we bind, right. Uh, the first thing we're going to go down here and go into sit on system setup. Um, and then go to, uh, aircraft type. Yep. And so just the normal setting. One aileron, one flap, normal, okay? That, that's what you need, okay? Um, let's see, let's go down to the channel sign, okay? So the first six of these are pretty straightforward, right? Throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, gear, aux one is the um, flaps, okay? Um, channel seven on the receiver, um, I've got that tied to the B switch and that's used to uh, turn uh, AS3X and SAFE on and off, okay? D is the wing sweep, so I've got that set on switch D, okay, aux three on six D. And then nine uh, is, it, it, I don't have a switch assigned to it, okay? Uh, but nine is where we plugged in uh, that Y cable for the ailerons, okay? Um, and so we'll, we'll take a look at that in just a second. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I, think, I think that's it. I think we can go back up to the mixing. 
Um, so on the mixing here, let's go through the, um, the aileron and how this works, okay? So uh, this is the mix that I set up. So basically the aileron channel, okay, which really is essentially that um, channel two, right? And that, that receiver channel two is going to that ICM board, okay? So we're gonna use that as, as kind of the master and it's gonna drive that AX4 or AUX4, okay? And AUX4 is on uh, port number nine, which is where I had that uh, aileron Y switch plugged in, okay? So basically, uh, the aileron port two is gonna drive port nine, okay? And then what I did was to set up the rates, okay? Um, this, is, this is how much uh, deflection you're going to get uh, versus the stick movement. And um, the, aile the elevators already act as elevons, so they should be rolling the aircraft. So really these, uh, when the wings are out, so really these uh, ailerons, uh, when the wings are out, are really just augmenting the role that the ailerons are already providing. So I haven't flown this yet, so I just put it at, uh, you know, minus 20. Um, that, that I had to do that to make sure to get the, um, uh, the, the direction of the ailerons to go to the right direction. That's why they're minus. And then I just took, put them at 25. And, and that gave, you know, um, probably, I don't know, somewhere around a 10 millimeter deflection, if that, okay. Um, so I'll start with that. Again, I haven't flown this. And then this mix, if you look, the key to this is the mix is, is set to switch D, okay? So what that means is switch D, that's up here. This is my wing sweep, okay? And so you can see down there that I've got uh, this mix is going to be enabled when switch D is in the zero position or the one position. If switch D is in the two position, then this mix is disabled. And what that means is the uh, ailerons will not be slaving uh, to that, uh, uh, the aileron channel, okay? So the wing ailerons will not move uh, when it's in position two here, okay? So <clears throat> I've got I've got this, you can see here it's in position zero. So zero and one, uh, this mix should be working. And so if I pan back out here, you can see that the aileron is moving, okay? I gotta do a little adjustment on it, but you can see that it is moving. So we'll, we'll move this to position one, okay, which, doesn't do anything for the wing sweep, but the aileron should still be working. Yeah, you see it moving. And now we're going to, I'm gonna make sure my flaps are up. Now we go to the wing sweep in position two. So the wings are sweeping. And now we should not see the aileron move at all. A little hard to tell, let's look at this one. Nope, no movement at all. Okay, so we successfully disabled the ailerons uh, during the wing sweep. Okay. And let me check my notes here. Is there anything else we wanted to touch on? Uh, okay, so maybe just for reference, uh, here's a shot of the receiver channels, okay. Um, so that's it. Uh, to get the standard set up as free wing, uh, you know, wants it to be, uh, where you have the ailerons with the elevators, okay, and then, you know, aileron, ailerons and flaps, okay, um, that's how you would set this up and, and cable it. Um, if you don't do that mixing, then um, basically when you sweep the wings, then the ailerons will also function, and according to RC Geek, you can get kind of unstable um, characteristics in the aircraft with the wings swept. So I haven't flown the F-14 with the wings swept. So I figured I'd maybe just take his word and then, um, you know, give it a shot without the ailerons working when the wings are swept and see what happens. Hopefully it uh, uh, doesn't dive bomb into the ground like, no, <laughs> like I typically do. Anyways, that's it. So this is another setup for the F-14 uh, and hope you guys uh, find this useful. 
And as a bonus, I neglected to put in the uh, flap setting. So um, it's pretty straightforward, but just for, for completeness, let me, let me just show you the flap setting here. Uh, let's go down to flap system. Okay. And basically, um, you know, I've got, I've got the flap set on um, switch C here, right? Three position switch. Okay. And in uh, position zero, uh, you know, I have had to set this to 10% 10 per, 10 flaps. And then um, basically that that's uh, uh, landing flaps, right? Full deflection. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I also mix in a little bit of um, uh, down elevator so that um, it won't uh, uh, balloon up when, when I put in the... Um, uh, the flaps there for um, landing flaps or a uh, landing flaps and then the second one here is for the landing flaps which is minus 30 and and six percent so same thing there uh, and then uh, here it's minus 100 is no flaps and then there's no elevator so these flap settings here the 10 the minus 30 minus 100 really kind of depend on um, you know, what you've got your servo reversing set to, and also how you've got that, um, uh, that, that control horn or, or the, or the control arm, uh, set on the servo, right? So yours might, might vary, but, uh, uh, anyway, it's just something you need, need to play with. You can figure out what, what makes the most sense just by, uh, testing it. The other thing is, uh, here I've set it up to the C switch, which I just showed you. And the other thing I did is, is to, kind of make it smooth with the flap transition because, uh, you know, if, if, if it's a big impact, you know, your, your, your jet could, could, you know, jet upward, right. Uh, when you throw in like, for example, uh, landing flaps. So I just made a smooth transition where it would transition the flaps over, over two second period. So that's it for the flaps.